Hello, everybody, and welcome to ISO Comics, the weekly comics report with Mike and Ming, broadcasting from the home of the comic book man, Jane Soundbot's Secret Stash. Hello, Mike. We're live, man. We are. Excellent. Hello, Mike. It's good to see you again. Yes, Ming. Welcome I missed, back. I missed you last week. I bet you did. I did. I missed you. No, but you didn't. Not enough to not go to San Francisco. Well, hey, you know, one of our favorite cities in the world. Well, hell yeah. Yes. Plus, there, you know, there were zombies and Walker Stark was there and I had family <laughs> there. And more importantly, honest to God, in and out Burger. Stop. in and out Burger. Before you say one more thing. Okay. In-N-Out Burger. All right, fine. In-N-Out Burger. That's but all I have to say. Here's a, no, what you have to say okay. is, you're like, I have family there. You wanted to go to Walker Stock. I did, and I you went. You wanted to go to Walker <laughs> Stock. I did, and I went. And you went. And uh, you know what? God bless you. You didn't You didn't drag Brian's lazy ass and mine no, uh, with No, I, I don't you. drag. You're, That's you, fine. You were capable of dragging yourself there. Sure, but You were no. capable of dragging your own ass wherever you want to go. But you invited what yourself. What I love <laughs> I did, and, which I think is awesome. I did. I think and, it's great. And it was, and it was awesome. Yes, it was awesome, Mike. Good if, for if, you. Um, yeah, you ever have any doubts of inviting yourself to a, a party, <laughs> social function, <laughs> I, or a convention? You had fun. Don't have doubts anymore because that's all that it was, matters. It was you had fun. It was pretty awesome. But welcome back. And Thank I see, you very much. I saw your pictures from Alcatraz. Okay, yes. pretty cool. Yeah, we had a big, uh, big group outing to Alcatraz. Um, something that everybody should do at least once in their lives. There are a lot of people who did it for the rest of their lives, man. They were out at Alcatraz. Right. Uh, Al Capone. Uh, yeah. The, the, the Birdman. Birdman of Alcatraz. Um, Machine Gun Kelly was there. He was there. Yes. Okay. Uh, they what about were... Vicky? Did you see Vicky? Was he your tour, tour guide? Vicky? Vicky. Who's Vicky? Never saw So I Married an Axe Murder. Oh, was that? What's... That was it. Was played ably by the late great Phil Hartman. Ah, uh, well, he yes. He played yes, Vicky. Yes. Vicky. He was awesome. Yes, but highly recommended. Cool. Mike. All right. I will get my ass out to San Francisco. Get your, get your ass to San Francisco. That's all I'm I saying. would get but, my ass to San Francisco. But last week we ran the uh, the live audio from the NYC Podfest. And did we get good feedback? We did. We got a lot of nice. lot of attention on that pod. I'm not really sure why I tweeted it. Mm-hmm. And there's a ton of attention. So have you listened to that? Cool. Thank good. you very much. We're very par- proud of that show. We are, and uh, as a matter of fact, yes, um, the gentleman from the Podfest, Jeremy Wayne, he came down. Did and, he really? Uh, yeah, I didn't recognize him at first. Why was he? Did he look disheveled and crazy? No, no, no. I was running around like a lunatic, and okay. I'm like, hey, that guy looks vaguely familiar. Right. And he's like, hey, Mike. I'm like, hey, how are you? Because you know, we <laughs> like, I'm like, we're, I'm like, hey, how are you? And I was running. I was actually <laughs> running downstairs to grab something right. for another customer. I'm like, hey, how you doing? And I came up. I'm like. Oh, that's that's Jamie from the the podcast. Jeremy, Jeremy. I Jeremy. said Jeremy. Je- you said Jamie, but that's I meant okay. to say Jeremy. De- what I meant Jamie. to say, yes, Jeremy, the man Podfest. who was nice enough to invite us to the NYC podcast. Um, yes, I'm sorry, Jeremy, Jeremy from the podcast. I actually thought he was hopped up Jamie. on hot sauce. Um, yeah, and he, he said to Mark uh, as soon as I mm-hmm. went downstairs, like. I don't think he recognized me. <laughs> I was like, I came up and Mark's well, like, "Well, to be that fair, was, the venue we're at, Fontana's Bar, a little dark. beloved bar, yeah, it's a little dark in there." And also, we've met. I, I spent what, like six minutes with him, total for the last two years. Although it was a, a phenomenal six minutes. Yes, excellent. One that was highly memorable, except for, maybe you have that facial thing where you don't recognize faces. I know. I don't think that's. It. I, you know, I, I'm, just, I'm like, trying I'm to save you, around, here, dude. Trying to get somebody a reaction figure from downstairs, shaking hands. Right. Hey, how you doing? Great to see you. Yeah. And I know it. Uh, I tend to block things out. Okay. Like, there are people who. Um, there was a guy who came in here. He's like, "Hey, do you remember me? We met down at the mm-hmm. the um, the dog beach about four years ago." Yes. I was like. Sure. Yeah. Hey, how are no, you? Hey, abs- you. Uh, yeah, it's you. We get and, that a lot. Yeah, I get that a lot. And uh, I tend to just kind of like gloss over it in Especially my mind. Especially now. It's like, hey, I met you at that con three years ago. I was right. like, oh, yeah. Yeah, great pic. That was a fantastic picture. Like, you do remember yeah. me. I'm like, how could I forget? Right. Well, uh, but my brain is all like smooth. Those ridges that you're supposed mm-hmm. to have in there. My brain is just like all smooth. I think God just took dolphin some smooth paper. Dolphin smooth. Yeah. So. Speaking of ridges in the head yes. or the face. Oh, the dear cranium. God in heaven. Did this freak me out? Yes. So the big story it of the did week freak me is out, by this the way. moron from Venezuela who decided he wanted to look like the Red Skull. Now, and he, uh, I read this, the, the guy's mm-hmm. dossier, if you will. Okay. And it said his friend yes. says mm-hmm. 
that he's been reading comics since he was able to read, and okay. he's he's a huge comic book fan. Okay, sounds and like and he you. loves the Red Skull. Okay, and uh, he always wanted to be the Red Skull. Okay, so here that line of thinking. Yes. First off, all right, Venezuela, not America. No, but that's okay because <laughs> I mean Venezuela <laughs> is, it's a um, it's a it's a country, country, <laughs> it's a but country. it's a communist country, right? I don't know. All right. Well, I don't believe it's communist, but somebody I, on Twitter. I don't know. Can Hugo, correct us. H- Hugo Chavez, Chavez. Yes. Didn't he? Is he still? He alive? is in power. Yes, I believe okay, he's still in enough. power. Yes. Um, he he took all the um, oil fields away from the big oil companies. Uh, yes. So that's technically communism uh, or dictatorship. Is. What? Whichever. One of the two. Yes. So he's he's not espousing the the um, truth, justice, and the American way ideals, of course. Okay, you know what does communists have to do with being a whack job? Nothing, okay. absolutely. Okay, nothing. or but fascist. He grabbed he grabbed the uh, capitalist system. He grabbed it right. and turned it on its ear. So Hugo Chavez, notwithstanding this other guy, mm-hmm. his favorite character is the Red Skull of all people. Yes. Okay, the Red Skull. Oh, yes. Not Enemy to everything. Yes, but to Captain America in particular. That's yes, what but I enemy of. to America. Yes, a uh, German. Yes. Well, I'm. He's a Nazi. He is a Nazi. Yes. Okay. Uh, a lot no. of Nazis escaped to South America, Venezuela. Yeah, uh, Venezuela I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say sure. Venezuela particularly, but mm-hmm. all right. Let's say that his great grandfather okay. emigrated from oh I don't know Germany. Okay. Say in 1946ish. Okay, sure. That, right, uh, that would be the proper throwing time that period. out there. Okay. You're bouncing on, bouncing uh, grandson on his knee. Sure. Like, let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you about a hero of mine. Yes. He so had a really you, cool mustache. Mm, uh, and he had this really. He wanted to change the world. Uh yes. Okay. So, uh, what's this dude's name? Um, this dude's name is uh, um, Damon. Uh, Damon, something. Damon. All right, so Damon. Matt Damon. Ma- no, it's not Matt <laughs> the, Damon. The so Damon, Damon goes. No, it's not. It's not Damon. Last name Damon. Damon goes to um, the doctor and says, "Hey, doc, I want to look like my favorite comic book." From character. what I read, this doctor had actually failed med school, so he wasn't even official. Okay, he didn't hey. earn the title doctor. So he's at a bar, and he okay. says, "Hey, okay. dude." Mm-hmm. You look drunk enough to help me out with my right. my situation. Okay. I want to look like my favorite super character from a comic book. Right. Super villain. No, you could just how about just character from a comic book. Okay. Guys like, "All right, you want to be Batman? You want to be Superman? You want to yeah. be Green Lantern? Maybe even the Flash." How about Green you, Arrow? You Iron one Man, of those guys? Cap. I can help you out. Yes. No. I want to be the Red Skull. Okay, easy. Put on the Red Skull mask. Bam, you're the no. Red Skull. No. No. I want to look like the Red Skull like he does in the cinematic universe with the upturned nose. Okay, and, and the sunken that, in eyes. That's I want the sunken in eyes. I want the beetle brow. And the red skull. And I want the, I want my skull to be red. Okay. And I want some uh, I want some shit in my forehead right. too. Make me stand out a little bit. Oh, by the way, Red Skull doesn't have a nose. Yeah, he doesn't. doesn't have a nose. He's, yeah. He's, he's, he's a skull. skull. And guess what? Now that is Damon now. No, yes, because the doctor he requests the doctor cut off his nose. So he could be more accurate. Cut it off. Okay. And got uh, got implants. So he says, head. Doc, give me the extreme Kevin Bacon. Okay. That's what he does. He Wasn't just, happy with uh, 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 the red skull mask from the party store. No, no. It's licensed. Yeah, well. It's a licensed mask. I don't think, uh, in Venezuela, I doubt it really matters. Mm, okay, right. If they're going to take oil fields away from big oil. Right. I think they're going to take the red mask, red skull mask away okay, from to, uh, Marvel comics. Okay. I don't think they have a problem with that. All right, so, all right, and he got his, his off. Eye, eyeballs, the the whites of his eyes tattooed. Yes, how is that even possible? I don't know, but it's possible. I saw it. I saw the picture. Well, I saw. The, well, are you are we sure? Walt mm-hmm. brings up a very interesting okay. question: Is this photoshopped? Is this legit? No, I think let's. Uh, I'm going to assume that's legit. You're going to assume it's let's legit. Let's say it's legit. All right, I I looked at the nose. It looks disgusting it enough looks to like be it was real. Cut off. Yes. Yeah. So, all right, Implants this guy look legit. Jackass. The black eyeballs look legit. Jackass. And uh, then he got his face tattooed red. Yeah. Like the, a jackass. Like jackass. Yeah. yeah. Now, the problem, my uh, I, I look at the guy, and I'm like, all right, he wants to be a red skull. You know, it's not hurting anybody. 
But then I kind of I, I looked at the Red Skull from the Horrible Cinematic Universe. Right. Doesn't look anything like him. He doesn't no. Look, not, does not look anything like well, him. He looks a, a little bit, but, uh, I mean, you have to squint a lot. Not, yeah. And you have to use your imagination a lot. Right. Um, if he was walking down the street, you wouldn't be like, oh, my God, it's the Red Skull. No, you'd be you walking be, down the street. You'd say, holy shit, somebody fucked him up. Like, yeah. Yeah. He looks like he got punched in the face and then we cut his nose off. Uh, it, That's what well, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. The red looks like uh, bruising. Yes. So He don't look good. No, he doesn't. So, and and Mark and I were thinking, um, so he's, he's just trying to level the playing field for the rest of us. He's mm-hmm. like, you know what? I get so much tail. I get so much that, ass for just, looking like this. <laughs> that guess what I'm gonna do? I am gonna and and I'm still gonna get more than you. Right. So or so he thinks. Right. So. All right. Well, I mean, have you gone? Have you? I I, I don't know any extreme. Um. Well, I uh no. <laughs> what? Okay. You're, finish I, this. Finish the thought and I, sentence. I, I, I'm. I don't know. I. What lengths would you? I guess. I. I, I have no words. What to to be like? Like say I want to be Batman, I'll go work out, I'll eat better. Okay. I'll, how about this? I'll get. Inst- I'll study. How about instead of looking like the Red Skull, you want to look like, oh, I don't know, Chris Evans. All right. Like, so I want to look like yeah, get a hair, different haircut, and well, work out. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What you you want to look like Superman, like that guy who actually uh, had- there was a guy who underwent plastic surgery to look. Wasn't like he Superman. from Venezuela also? He, I believe he was from a Latin country. Oh, he was from, and yes. he looked a little closer to Superman. Yes, he and everyone thought he was a whack job. Squared out chin. Yeah, the 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 hair. Now, do you remember? Now, this guy wants to look like, look and be the Red Skull, right. and I believe he is trying to change his name legally to the Red Skull. Okay. I think. Uh, La Skull Rouge. Or wait, what's red? Rojo. Uh, Rojo. La Skull Rojo. Skullo Rojo. Ro- okay, Rojo, yes. So, Sorry, my all right. Guess. Cool. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't think it's cool personally, but mm-hmm. it's Venezuela. You would do whatever do the hell you want. Yes. Now, do you remember there was a case in New Jersey about a family who named their kids Adolf Hitler? I do. Named their that. kid Adolf Hitler and uh, and the kid Adolf Hitler wanted to put Happy Birthday or Adolf Hitler on the cake, I believe, or was yeah, that and another? Yeah, and they called somebody called Dyfus on. Yes, him. got uh, the kids taken away oh, from yes. him. All right, the other kid was named Heimlich Himmler, by the way. What What do you do in a case like this? If, if this dude grown lived man, in Jersey, grown man apparently is a, a husband and a father and a son. Um, how for how long? For a ha- I'm sure he's still going to be a son. Oh, you think they're going to take his kids away from him? I no. I well. I don't even that, know if there is a Dyfus in. Uh, probably Israel. not. But if your husband, let's say, <laughs> let's say your wife Debbie decides that she's she wants to be the Red Skull. Okay. Are you going to let her go through with it? No. Exactly. No. I'm not. So uh, even if she wants to be Jean Grey. I don't know if no, I would. you you, you might be you you'd you be fine with no, that. But. Well, you'd probably try to kill me for that. But you you love your wife for what? Sure. Yes. Yes. For for, for who she is, sure. for what she is, who sure. she is. Absolutely. Um, but how can somebody love this guy for what he is now? I don't know. That's you're turning yourself into a monster. Well, my, uh, maybe his wife is really also into the Red Skull. I and, you know, and she's uh, really maybe. happy. Maybe she is. I don't know. She Red can't Sk- really be happy with that. With the, did the Red Skull really get that did much The Red ass? Skull have a female, female companion. I do not uh, know. I don't, I mother believe. Knight. But mother Knight. Okay, yeah. well, maybe she's a big Mother but, Knight. Uh, no, no. It really, there wasn't a lot of romance there. My question is, why the Red Skull? Out of all the villains in the... Even in the Marvel Universe. Well, you know, you could be Gal- Mag- Magneto. His, because be, his uh, best friend was trying to be uh, Galactus. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. You could be someone more... I, I'm not saying that the Red Skull oh, okay. isn't a badass, but Madeline says uh, that mm-hmm. the uh, Superman dude was from the Philippines. Oh, okay, all right, wacky Asian country. All right, good yeah. deal. Well, I, that's not to say that there aren't Americans who also undergo wacky transformations, but this one uh, that stood out to us as comic book fans. Yeah, just Red Skull. A touch strange, right? Well, you know, he he um he looked worse than the Red Skull in the 1994 Captain America movie that was never released. Yeah, true. The um, who directed that or who was the star of that? That was Frank Langella Frank- as the Red Skull. Yes, and who who played Cap? Uh Matt Salinger. Matt Salinger. That's right. J.D. Salinger's son played Captain America. Now that Red Skull, I thought, did not look very good. This and one looks even worse. This guy looks worse. 
This guy looks worse. Yeah. So hello, everybody. We are live. You can tweet us. Uh, I am at Ming Chen 37, M I N G C H E N 37. I am at Michael Zapsic, M I C H A E L Z A P C I C. If we get enough tweets, Mike will transform him, himself. <laughs> if I get Maybe a million followers role, by this weekend, he'll cover himself in silver body paint and transform himself into Norman Rad. I will How about actually that? have rocks glued to my body and become the thing. Why didn't he do that? He yeah, that would have been, been so much surfer, cooler. Man. Like, or, or the thing. Yes. Just have that have all those implants. Yeah. Get the, yeah, you look get like the Rocky rock. Dick. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yeah. You know, get get Kevin's um, you know, Kevin's idea going. Yeah. Now, actually, sound like they're having fun up front. Speaking of Orange Rock, off. I asked you if you were gonna watch the FF teaser and you were like, No. I uh, no. You refuse. I refused. I I, I I have to applaud your integrity. You're not gonna go see the movie. I'm not. You're 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 upset. Uh, you you have integrity. You you're like this. I it's not my not it's not my fantastic form. fantastic form. I'm not gonna go watch. It. I'm not, I don't want anything to do with it. I'm just gonna pre- ignore it. I like that. Uh, to be honest with you, it's it doesn't appeal to me in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Uh, X Men did. Sure. The Avengers does. Right. But you're a the, huge Fantastic Four. I fan. love the Fantastic. How four. can it change? Would be like I'm gonna go watch this. Um, they're gonna have to reshoot the whole. You know, here's here's my problem with this man. Okay. And um, it's something that. Are you go if let's say it goes back to Marvel, will you watch it then? I doubt it will. But if Marvel actually does it, mm-hmm. yeah, I, okay. I will. If they uh, come, if they so come out, yeah. And I don't. I'm not talking about the. Um, not so much the you know um, the Human Torch is now the adopted brother right. of uh, mm-hmm. Sue Storm. Mm-hmm. But guess what? what? It's n- it's not canon. Right. Okay. You want screen accurate? If it was comic cano- well, comic canon. book accurate. Okay. I understand. If it, if it were, <clears throat> you know, hey, in the story, turns out that Johnny Storm is adopted. Right. Then that's fine. Okay. But I doubt it's going to happen. They're making changes just to make changes. Exactly. We've and they're doing this. it to appease or to to bring in a uh, different segment of audience that right. maybe won't. Go see the Fantastic Four if it's okay. all white. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Which, I mean, I I happen to love Blade. Yes. Blade's a great comic. It uh, is. Not That's actually great movie franchise. Comic. It was a great movie yeah. franchise, and Wesley Snipes did the character. Um, yeah, Two and Dracula. Justice. Good, good, oh my God. good comic series. Yeah. And yet so. he was he is Blade. You think of Blade. He, he is Blade. was Blade. Yes. He is. Yeah. He he is he was he is Blade he's now. still is Blade even though he's in jail he still no, is. he's out of jail he's out yeah because he did the um, he did the time uh, <laughs> he did, don't do the time if you or don't yeah don't do the crime all don't right do the time and he did um, what is it the uh, oh god Pastor fifty seven always bet on black oh they were doing that already but they uh, <laughs> what the hell was it um, he did uh, what are those the the S- Sylvester Stallone the Demolition Man. No, 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 he did. What the hell was it? <laughs> Expendables? The third one. Expendables. Expendables. There yes. you go. God. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank God. Oh, sorry. man. It's okay. You're, you're getting, getting old. Uh, you're getting I, old. I had a huge brain fart I, right I, there. No, it's all right. I don't, feel, you know what? It, it felt feel like bad. I was okay, passing man. the red skull through my uh, brain. Yes. But no, there was, it was um, the Expendables. He did the Expendables yes, 3. Yes, he did. So he's out of jail. Right. And cash and checks. <laughs> oh, so legit, legitimately now. So he's legitimately out of jail. Okay. And, uh. He's interested in uh, reprising his role. Yes, and he was also interested in being the Black Panther. Right. Oh yeah, I uh, I would I, I would have been on board with that. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen it back in ninety six. Oh, okay, not two thousand fifteen. Mm, I don't know. Too I don't late. know if he can pull it off. Okay, maybe T'Challa. What? Uh, how much? Maybe could how be... old is How old is T'Challa? Should be like twenty four. Twenty four. Okay, not forty four. Let's put it this not way. Not fifty four. Uh, he's fifty four now, right? Uh, it's probably closer to fifty four okay. than twenty four. He could be his father. Could he could be T'Chaka, T'Chaka could. who was Black Panther ahead uh, before him. Yes, and killed. I, I I would be on board with that. That would be great. I would love to see a throwback yes. of you know flashback scene, flashback scene okay. of that. Uh, him teaming up with. Um, Captain America back in 1943. Oh, yeah. Okay, that'd be fantastic. That'd be cool. I would, I would watch that. All right, cool. So you never know. Uh, Marvel may get it back one day. Maybe have one Dare- day. Daredevil came back. Marvel's uh, got Daredevil now. Yeah, true. And speaking of Daredevil, Netflix April 10th. Yes. Teaser trailer just very, released. Very have excited. you seen it? Uh, I have. Have I seen that? No, I haven't seen you it. You have not seen it. No. All right. Well, Daredevil, uh, been adapted. 
couple times. Yes. Um, not well done either. Uh, I uh, can remember two instances. Yes. First one that comes. Trial right, of the Incredible. Trial Hulk. of the Incredible Hulk. Uh, Hulk teams up with. Meh. Team Daredevil. ups a little. Did, team ups a, a little bit of a stretch. Okay, they yeah, they're okay. in the same movie. And yes. in that one, um, they got it all wrong. For Daredevil first, yeah, that's uh, true. cheesy black costume, yes. which uh, actually follows comic book canon. Now that now that I think about it, when, when uh, they, didn't they do a? Well, it wasn't year one, but uh, there a while. Um, there was a point where he did start out. Yeah, he had he costume. was wearing uh, just like black leotard, yeah. and he had a uh, like a half mask. Yes, with no eyes. Right. So yeah, it was sort of, it was. Uh, I think that was Man Without Fear. Yes. So and uh, but in the TV movie, the Hulk movie, uh, he could see in these weird green. Yeah, like um, <laughs> this weird weird green like radar. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally wrong, way off. Yeah, it was, <clears throat> but hey, he was he was okay. Way off. Second ab- adaptation, obviously, Ben Affleck Daredevil. Yes. Which I don't I think anybody liked. There are parts that I liked. There are parts that I liked. I liked the first fight much, scene. Yeah. It was good, and then it kind of went down. The fight scene that. he had with Electra was very well done. The one on the playground? Yeah. That's that's where it killed. That's where you it thought went it was, it was uh, dorky? It went on for like 15 minutes, dude. Yeah, but uh, you know, I was sitting in the theater. I had nowhere to go. <laughs> I cleared my night. We were good. A lot of people cleared their nights that night. I'm yeah, just saying. it cleared a lot of things that so, night. So uh, hard to adapt. Shouldn't be, right? Uh, should be straightforward. You would think. But should apparently be straightforward. history if you, is. If you can do Batman, you can do Daredevil. History has said that Daredevil is hard to adapt for the big okay. and small screen. But uh, this is what I saw in the teaser. So let me know if this excites you. Maybe more than okay. Fantastic Four. Uh, it looks much darker. Yes. Now, you know, the Marvel movies. And even the TV shows kind of have this kind of cleaned up cinematic look. It's very glossy. Looks like a comic book. Right. This one looks dark, like uh, like Batman. Yes. So that's good. Very should, excited wait, about should, that. Uh, these characters I saw in the teaser. Yeah, I, I I went through it with a fine tooth comb. Okay. Uh, ben Urich. It's not played by um, Joey Pantaleone. It is, is it? not. I thought he was Excellent. good. Okay. I thought he was good though. He was all right. That was good. The, uh, I thought Ke- Kevin. I thought Kevin was good. Kevin was good. Kevin yeah. was the best part of you know. I'm not just kissing the ass, or maybe I am. But yeah, you are. He was good. But that's fine. He, he was good. Ben York. Uh, Stick. Nice. Stick. You need his sensei. Yes. yes. Was Stick in? No, Stick was. Uh, we've never seen Stick on the. Uh yeah, we did. We did. Electra. Oh, okay, Electra. Okay. Played by um, General Zod himself. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Terrence uh, Stamp. Okay. So. This is Stick traditionally an Asian. Is he Asian? It doesn't have to be. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Karen Page. Nice. So Karen Page. Now the the, par- you know the legal secretary Karen Page or the coked out char- parent Karen Page. I'm not really sure. Doesn't really matter. Either one's good. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, but you know why? You know why? Um, Splinter. Stick. Did you ever get that? Uh, stick. Splinter. Yes. Foot. Hand. Uh, you see the yeah. hand. I I see what I believe is to be the hand. Stick was uh, Daredevil's um, mentor. Yeah. So and Splinter is was the Turtle's yeah, mentor. Yeah. So yeah, I think I saw the hand. Okay. I don't. I saw a bunch of evil-looking Asian guys standing around. Oh, then it's assume the hand. That or the like, yakuza. I have to assume it was the hand. Or the hand. Uh, yes. Foggy Nelson. Okay. Nice. And the Kingpin, played by Vincent D'Onofrio. Very nice. Vincent D'Onofrio. Good cast. Perfect. Yes. Perfect Kingpin. I believe and so. And first, um, the trial of the Incredible Hulk mm-hmm. was um, John Rhys Davies. Oh, okay. Not the <laughs> best use of him. Okay. They're like, well, he's kind of chunky. Let's okay. get Sala in there. Oh, what a, right. And don't get me wrong, I happen to love John Reese Davis. Sure. I think he's amazing. Sure, but not the king. But not the he's not the kingpin for God's sake. Not sakes. Wilson Fisk. No. Okay. No, Wilson Fisk <laughs> has to be someone who could kick your ass. Bad dates. Bad dates. Bad dates. Exactly. All right. Indy, I'm so glad you are not dead. Yes. Fair enough. Get off my plane. All right. We got a look at a lot of good books that came out this week. We do. Uh February fourth, two thousand fifteen. Good week for books. <clears throat> uh, I have a number of them here, which I'm going to go through, which cool. I re- recommend you pick up. All right. And uh, I'm going to start with Superman 38. Yes, one of my favorites. Written by our friend Jeff Johns. He was awesome. Art by our friend John Romita Jr. He is awesome. I- I'm just dropping Well, they're both here. awesome. Um, uh, you see Batman in this issue. Yeah. You know, with drawn by, by John, John Romita, Romita Jr. Jr. Yes. If that doesn't get you to buy this book, um, well, maybe the story will. Which features Superman with a new power. Yes, which pretty I'm not, cool power. Are, and do you it want makes to ruin sense. it? 
Uh, are we going to spoil? Why spoil not? Spoil it. What is it? Can we spoil it? Spoil it. Uh, we'll call it going supernova. Okay. Um, basically, if you, if you don't want to hear about it, uh, I'll give you Too three late. seconds okay. to, to walk away. Okay. I'll give you two seconds okay. to walk away. Uh, walk it's away. too late. If you haven't walked away, you're okay. screwed. Here is the um, his superpower. He can expend every ounce of Kryptonian energy in his his cells in like a detonation burst. He's like an atomic bomb, just waiting to go off. So boom! If he's if he's um, you know the need is desperate enough, he can expel all of his energy in like one boom. burst. Okay, and uh, it's kind of like a. Um uh, like a last resort. Yeah, like uh, the human oh. bomb. Okay. So, uh, but it takes a toll on him. It takes him about a day to uh, start powering up again. Okay. So for a day, he is just a normal human being. Right. Which is pretty cool. Okay. Wow, it's kind of, it's kind of like sex. Like, you know, you do it. And then, and then you, you have to you wait. Ex- you explode. <laughs> and then you have to recharge again before you can do it again. Uh, of course, and yeah, let's see. If no, Brian, I don't have to wait. Let's a see day. if Brian Johnson. I don't is have to wait a day between these. But say, say a man like Brian Johnson who has low testosterone, he he may have to wait a day. <laughs> and it's, he's a regular man. You say after this, is he regular tired? Dude. Like, is of he course, tired? yeah, he's exhausted. Brian done. gets ex- exhausted. Okay, gets so exhausted he won't return my phone calls. Oh, won't my return God. our texts. Won't won't come won't, right, that's, that's won't kinda, show up to where right, now you're just getting creepy, dude. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> just right. you know, I I understand this analogy. Right. You got it. Good. It's just like boom, and but then, very cool. Uh, so he does this to take out Ulysses. Yes, Ulysses. Yeah, which Ulysses. if you look at the cover, he's engaged in a huge battle yes. with Ulysses. So uh, yes, Ulysses is uh, ready to uh, destroy the yeah. planet Earth. Mm-hmm. So he, as a last resort, he's got to take him out. So yes. boom, and he has a new costume. Much hype by DC. Yes, but this one is. It's doesn't um, really look that different. It to doesn't. Me. He's uh, destroyed his old Kryptonian armor, mm-hmm. so now he's got to use some spandex lycra, right? I guess. And yeah, so. but Kryptonian fashionable. I don't know if it's Kryptonian. Oh, okay. So might just be just like be urban. spandex. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, urban. All right. So supernova. Very nice. Right. And that's actually uh, the name of his power is a he actually took the identity of Supernova. Oh, OK. Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. So go look All for right. that issue. Superman kids. 38. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and X-Men Black Vortex Alpha number one. Very that's long a title. Mouthful. There are maybe some unnecessary adjectives in here. But if you're looking for a crossover, Mike, why not crossover Am I? Am the I? Guardians and X-Men? X-Men. Now, this is their second crossover in two years. Yes. Uh, tr- trial of Jean Grey. It was pretty cool, yeah. These, but crossing over. Uh, how do you feel about these cross? this crossover? In I happen to, particular? you know, it makes a certain amount of sense because uh, Peter Quill in the comics is sort of kind of dating Kitty Pride. Oh, okay. And a spoiler alert for anybody. who's They've gone out on a couple of dates. Okay. I mean... As much as you can when one dude's like three quarters of the way across the galaxy. Right. Uh, Long distance. Yeah. Uh, Very long distance. Yes. Extremely long distance. Yes. Okay. I'm just. just, Oh, my God. I'm just trying to get the point across here. All right. Long distance. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, Marvel's (laughs) Ant-Man Prelude, number one. Yes. Uh, A little prequel to the movie coming out this year. There's a movie for Ant-Man? There is, Mike. All right, cool. There's Mike, one of your favorite Marvel characters, is now coming to the big screen. Excellent. This summer, see Ant-Man starring Paul Rudd and Michael Douglas. <laughs> I'm actually really psyched about this because it focuses more on... Paul Rudd plays Scott Lang, who's a uh, master thief mm-hmm. and uh, electronics whiz. I'm yes. assuming he's an electronics wizard. Yeah. Um, and he steals um, Hank Pym's suit. He does. His super suit. Yes, steals a suit, kidnaps the doctor, trying to save his kid, blah, blah, blah. You know, if yeah. you're a fan of Ant-Man, you know all this already. Right. Uh, they they may touch on it in the movie. They probably will. I hope they do. Not too long, I hope. We don't need to have No, we don't need a lot of that. But the isn't the uh, main villain going to be uh, Yellow Jacket? I, I believe so. I believe That's so. That's pretty awesome. Very strange. Yes, but prior to him, Pank Pym. Hank Pym, yes. And um, founding member of the Avengers in yes. the comics. Yes, he's um, on Avengers number one. Yes, Tales, Tales to he Astonish. He named the Avengers, correct? 
Uh, yes, he did. Yeah, okay. He did. All right, Very good. Very look at nice. Me. Look, check out the big brain on check, Ming. Check out the big brain on Ming. Yeah. Um, pretty cool in that um, he didn't start out as a superhero. In Tales to Astonish, uh, I'd have to look up the number, but in uh, Tales to Astonish, he was the man in the anthill. Oh, okay. He was a scientist, Hank Pym. And now all of his contemporaries like, Pym, why don't you do stuff that's makes sense instead of your your wacky ideas your, and your, your mumbo jumbo nonsense yeah and this isn't like, science exactly and he's like listen i only do science experiments that interest me yes. screw you guys you yes. know coming from the the silver tongue of stan lee right and uh <laughs> so he i don't believe that's exact those, those are the exactly, exact words that stan lee uses screw but, you yes but um yeah he shrinks down in into uh uh, ant size mm-hmm. goes out to an ant hill, yeah, and, and he's like, "Hey, what's going on?" They're he's like, like, "This is pretty cool." Yeah. And the ants are like, "Let's." Uh, there's a human who's our size. Let's eat him. And he's like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I, this is I didn't count on this one. Yeah. And uh, he's like, "I can't find my antidote. It's up there." And uh, he had there was one ant that helped him. Oh, okay. And then, yes, and he, he knows that, judo. So from that he. Becomes king of the ants. King of the ants. No, oh. from that he goes up, gets re-enlarged, yes. and says, thank God I'll never let this fall into anyone else's hands. Yeah. He throws out everything. Wow, okay. And so it was supposed to be just like a morality tale. Yeah. Like, but but he, never, he never stepped on an anthill because somewhere there was an ant that helped never him. Never bought a can of raid again. Never bought, never bought ant traps again. Yes. So... But uh, they, they had a hit on their hands. It was like Spider-Man. Yeah. They never thought that they were going to go back to it, but they did. They're yes. like, oh, wait a second. We've got a really cool idea. Yeah, kind of cool. People Let's like this. Let's do it. People like this. It sounds, it sounds silly. It is silly. It's, it's comic books, for God's sake. So then they made him a founding Avenger. Yes. So... So, uh, <clears throat> so I think the movie's going to focus on Scott Lang. You won't, uh, you'll see Hank Pym, but you won't get much of his backstory. So I believe this. Uh, that, well, I don't believe this prelude will focus on him. Cool. Before the transition, Star Wars number two. This is a beautiful book. It's so gorgeous. The interior art by John Cassidy. Yeah. I can never say enough about John Cassidy. One of my favorite working artists right now. Yeah. Him, Mike McCone. I can name a couple others, but. Fantastic! Oh, and John Romita Jr. Yeah. Now the previous Marvel Star Wars incarnation, little silly. There, uh, there was, oh my God! Yeah, the the Green Bunny. Sure. Uh, there were a lot, of, a lot of silliness. Jax. Even Jax maybe, the Bunny. A little, little campy. Even. Yeah, very much so. This, this one. No, no, This one is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Just the first issue, cool, was awesome. This one, pretty friggin' awesome. Yes. Uh, if you. It, if you if you're even a like have an ounce of Star Wars fan in you, yeah, you should be picking this up. Now we got a there, there there are a number of variant covers. We got a few of them. No, we don't have them anymore. Oh, they're gone. <laughs> no, done. Wow. Yeah, I know. They Already went really, came out. Really yeah, came out freaking yesterday. I know. It's gone. I'm telling you. Well, dude, it's, pick it up. Well, then pick it up now. Even you should. Um, uh, we got one of the. Uh, they they make the variant covers. Yes. Which mimic the old school Kenner figures. Yes, I think they're beautiful, and we've been getting one per oh, yeah. shipment. Um, there was so this week was the Han Solo figure. Le- number last, one was Luke Skywalker. Right. Last I guess. week was uh, last month was um, Luke. This week Han. Next week will probably be Leia. Yeah. Next week. Next time. Next, yeah. Next month ish. Next so, month. Very cool. So pick pick that up. Uh, yeah. Hawkeye twenty one. My favorite book. Uh, David Aha is back on the art. Yes. On the art board. Uh, this I, is I, the last one before they reboot. It is. Yes, I yes. believe. Yes, before they reboot. They're rebooting, and um, it's it's actually kind of sad. Did you read it, right? I have not read it yet. It's a little sad. Okay. I'm not going to I'm not gonna blow it for okay. you. Okay. Check that sad. out. But one of the most, in, in my mind, one of the most consistently uh, awesome comics yeah. out today. Every issue is a gem. Okay, but I'm bi- I, I'm biased. I'm a, I'm a fan. Right. I'm a fan. Uh, saga number twenty five. Okay, and that goes without saying. Brian K. Vaughn. Was it good? I haven't read it yet. <laughs> I just okay. got back. I just All got right. back from San Francisco. All right. All right. I'm just saying. I, hey, you, you are just saying. I'm just, um, have you met a f- a person who's read Saga that I don't like it? No, so, never. Yeah. It, 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 it's, it's just one of them that's it's just good. I got gotcha. you. 
just good. Not just good. Freaking good. Not just good. Good for you. Um, all right. So uh, Spawn. Are there any Spawn fans? Not left, left but who, who are collecting We have still one person okay. in the store. One of our reservists who gets Spawn. Okay. Well, issue 250 basis. came out. Yeah. Like, historic. Very. But, again, <laughs> are people still collecting? They came out with like. Oh, pardon me. Like eight different uh, variants on this one, too. So yes. is anyone collecting Spawn? I think there are Spawn okay. fans out there. There has to be. Right. Or else they wouldn't have made it True. to 250. But, I mean, you remember people were, you know, Gaga. Was, oh, yeah. People were nuts for Spawn. <laughs> it was Spawn was where it was at at one spawn point. Spawn was where it was at. I don't think, the, do the kids still say that? Yeah. Spawn was where and it's 250, at. You know, how many, how many books hit 250? Yeah. Not, Not too many. Lot. Yes. So Spawn is alive and well. Good on you there, Todd McFarlane. And he did write this. Good. So it's, you know, from the mind. Was it good? I, you I haven't read it. I haven't read okay. it. Yet. You just got back. I, I just gotcha. got back. All right. I just got, just I've been got playing catch up. I've just playing, been playing catch up. Right, uh, anything else you want to mention uh, uh, off your poll list? Yeah, actually, Earth Earth, uh, Earth One Superman. The uh, the tr- uh, hard, Is it hardcover? Yes, it's hardcover. Okay. Um, uh, J. Michael Straczynski. Yes. Um, I have not read it. I did pick it up. You've been busy. No, well, no. It came out uh, yeah, to be honest with you, I haven't. You have it, it came out uh, yesterday. I I haven't read everything on my poll list. Okay. So uh, I did read Star Wars too. I I loved it. Uh, read Hawkeye twenty one. Yes. Loved it. Okay. Can't wait for the reboot. As a matter of fact, it inspired me to go back and reread Hawkeye from number one to catch up oh, to yeah. this again. So I will do that, and I will report on it next week. I'm also gonna do some. Um, you can get a bow and arrow back. Uh, actually, I I am. Do you get have a bow and arrow? Uh, no, my you have a sons do, but I'm going to get myself a bow and arrow and get my hand. A compound my, bow? I'm going to get a com- well. I'm going to get a regular bow, and if I I'm really good at okay. it, I'm going to treat myself to a compound bow. All right. And uh, I'm going to do some. Uh, who who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. Rambo. 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 Is yes. that who I am? Okay. Get some explosive tips and shit. Yeah, that'll nice, be fun. Right? Yeah. So actually, fun. what we're gonna do is, um, we have to instead of lift our house, we have to do an addition onto our house. Okay. Because we have to abandon our whole first floor. Okay. So yeah. So I'm gonna have some uh, some room. Okay. Some Whoa, storage that's space. Heavy. And I'm thinking about making a um, for me and the kids a shooting range. A shooting range. Yeah. Really? In my yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you want to come over? You want to bring can, Harrison? Man. Harrison and Lillian can come over. It's going to be, you know, you got to do um, safety procedures, sure. goggles, the whole nine sure. yards. Ear protection. No. For what? A bow? No, no, a gun. No, not a gun. Oh, you can't do a gun. We can't shoot like. No, no shooting guns. I can't, I can't bring not my Glock. Not allowed to do that. I can't blip my Glock like right at tat tat. <laughs> oh, okay. Just, okay. Just arch- a bow. So it's a range yeah. then. It's not a an archery range. Archery range. Okay. Yes. So that's what we'll do. Can we do the things like uh, with the moving targets? Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Um, that'll be cool. And uh, let's talk about this because this is awesome. Okay. Fallon and Saved by the Bell. Yes. Now, you were a big, huge Saved by the Bell fan. Uh, no, I was a huge, make, every, anyone who made fun of Saved by the Bell fan. Huge fan of anyone oh, okay. who makes fun of Saved by yeah, the Bell. Yeah, me too. Like, you just don't get it. It's, you don't get it. It's brilliant. It's genius. genius. So it is. is a genius show. It is. It's absolutely fantastic. It is. If you don't get it, then uh, you're an idiot. If you don't get it, then uh, get out of the way for those of us who do get it. Yes, exactly. Get it. Get it faster. Get out of the way. Now, I mean, we went as far as to uh, we went to based on the musical. Which we is did. A fantastic. Musical based on Saved by the Bell. OK. Now, here's the thing. Uh, okay. Jimmy Fallon last night did a Saved by the Bell reunion. He did. Now, he usually uh, broadcasts a show in New York moving to L.A. this week. Yes. And. Uh, Jimmy Fallon, a gen- comedic genius at this point, I believe. Uh, okay, I'm. He's, he's got a team of writers. Yeah, he does. But uh, I, th- I'm sure, sure. I'm, uh, but I'm sure I was he came never up- a huge Jimmy Fallon fan. I got to be completely upfront. I find him now. I find him a little bit charming. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm thinking that these parodies that he came up with himself. Of course, okay. he had writers polished. But them. I'm just saying that uh, if you look at what he was doing, uh, what was that one with Queen Latifah? I oh, was it a show? I don't. It was know. a movie. A oh, movie. I Where don't. Where was a taxi driver? I don't know. Oh, was was it just taxi? I no, it wasn't taxi. <laughs> okay. And uh, there was also the one with Drew Barrymore, Pitch Perfect. Or okay, right. Sure. Oh yes. 
I'm not a no. no. Okay. Uh, so I was like, wow, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. I'm yeah having for, for having trouble show, with you, buddy. Yeah. But for the Tonight Show, I think he's it's good. Pitch perfect. I think he's good. Wow. He's uh yeah he's a good fit for that. But uh here's the thing. Uh and I thought this was genius. Okay. Tori from Saved by the Bell wants to know why she wasn't invited to last night. Well, reunion. basically, if you haven't seen it, Jimmy Fallon inserted him. They uh, he did a skit basically yes. where. He's like, hey, did you know Jimmy Fallon was a member, went to Bayside, and uh, they did um, a skit, I guess. Not not even really a spoof, it was a p- pitch perfect um, homage. I don't even know what you call this. It, they, it, was, they just, it was a reimagining? Yes. Do you him. remember when they did this? They, they had a, a show called Day by Day, and it had... Um, um, what the f- uh, the kid who played Greg Brady in the the Brady Bunch sequels? Yes, or the Brady Bunch movies? Right. Uh, Christopher Michael Barnes or Christopher yeah, something or whatever. Like that. Yes. Um, and he was Greg Brady, but he had a dream that he was a Brady. Yes. And uh, he was the lost Brady. Okay, not so Oliver, but a lost. No, Brady. but they had a pregnant Marsha was there, and oh, okay, they just get, went way off the map. Yeah, he had to get a, a perm. But last night, um, Tiffany Amber Thiessen was also pregnant. Yes. So, so they, but uh, Jimmy was Jimmy, added to the um, Bayside cast. Yes, uh, they got the set perf- perfect, yes. pitch perfect set, and all the original cast members came back, including Mr. Belding, including Mr. Belding, except for two. There were two notable exceptions. Okay, who were they? Lark Voorhees. Okay, who is crazy? Uh, who is yes, Lisa Turtle and um, what? It, um, Leanna Creel uh, says. Um, Who's Leanna Creel? She played. Tori. Okay, the, and Tori wasn't in Tori there. wasn't in this. And um well, the Dustin Diamond and Lark Voorhees also couldn't make it. I can't say I'm surprised. Dustin straight up stabbed a guy on Christmas, and yes. Lark Voorhees is going face crazy. That's when you slowly go so crazy that your face changes to warn innocent bystanders like a venomous snake with brightly colored right. scales. I mean, look at Randy Quaid. He looks like Matt Santa Claus. Yeah. Um, her face looks super normal, she's saying. And she will show up camera ready and bring her own wardrobe. And she, uh, I'm scrolling down. Okay. And Lark Voorhees is face crazy. Yes. And Dustin Diamond has been booked into. Yeah, I thought he was in jail. Ozaki County Jail. Right. Oz- he's not even in in like San Quentin. Right. He's in Huzzaki. Ozaki County well, Jail. Well, you know, uh, yeah, uh, jurisdiction. That's where he. That's where he stabbed the dude. Yes. <clears throat> Kill- Did he die? He killed him, right? Not only he's dead. Okay. Not dead, although Screech, you know, he's he's kind of a failure at life. porn. Sure. Yeah, life basically. Porn, yes, um, life. He had it all and he lost. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you do? Uh, you stab a man and kill him. I guess. I suppose you do. Yeah. So uh, they brought back all the all your favorite lines from Saved by the Bell. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yes. Uh, um, I'm so scared. Slater with the tear off. Oh, the uh, the ballet, the ballet. Nice. Uh, the Zach phone, the Zach cell phone. No, they had. Where, where do you dig one of those out? Do you I, get? They a, found it. Nice. They found them, and maybe uh, he kept it. Uh, you know, uh, the Zach attack, friends forever. Okay. They dug out all our favorite lines from from the show. And he did timeout too, didn't he? Yes, he did the timeout. Okay. Yes. So you had to be happy with this. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, very cool. I <clears> saw it. It was funny. Uh, what struck me is uh, everyone looks pretty damn good. There may have been a lot of makeup involved, but and pregnancy, yes. But although Belding does look well, bloated. he's yeah. But I come on, man, dude's like what sixty three. I get, I'll get, I'll give it to him. All right. I thought everyone else looked at like they were in pretty good shape. Yeah. So and, and what's it been twenty years? Yeah. Yeah. I, I Leanna Creel good. pissed off. Well, to- come on, man, it's Tori. Yeah. So she's saying she didn't even get a call. Didn't get a call. Right. Never got a dinner. All right. Well, sorry, Tori. I'm, I'm not. I think it's it's funny. Yes. I think it's awesome. Yeah. So that That's one was for you, Mike. Thank you. That was for you. Um, so a dude came in the store yesterday, Australian fellow, and um, he saw you, and I guess he, 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 I guess, how did he present this? He told you he was working, he's been developing an app. No, actually, po- here's, here's what happened. He said, uh, hey, how you doing, Mike? Very nice to meet you. Shook my hand. He yes. says, uh, I want to show you something cool. I'm like, okay. all right, cool. And uh, so he was buying a um, uh, Uncanny X-Men 199. Okay. So he says, cool. watch this. And he takes a picture of it with his cell phone. Okay. And he says, all right, and here. And he waits three seconds and turns it to me. 
And I'm like, what am I looking at? And he's like, scroll it, scroll through. And it's, uh, there are 20 websites where this thing is for sale. Yes. And it tells me what their average price is. Yes. In that condition. So not only that, based on the photo alone, it identified the comic yes. books. Yes. Identified the value, the yes. current value. Uh, had a chart of uh, value from uh, like a three month span, like a like a stock graph. Mm-hmm. Uh, where you could buy it? Where there were twenty stores that also sold were selling it. Yes, and our price was the best. Yes, by the way. So and current, yeah, and current value. Yes, and um, we were like, holy crap, this is like Terminator type. This is a game changer for comic book fans. Yeah, where uh, it wasn't even three. Like one second later, it told you, popped up, and he. Um, this is something that you can put your comics into. Yeah. You can catalog your comics. Just like click, click, yeah. click. And it, and, it uh, keeps can... track of your books, yes. what you need. <laughs> Let's say you're going for a run of Uncanny X-Men, yeah. like one through 500. Right. It'll tell you which one you don't have. Right. And how much it's worth and how much you can get it for if you want and where to get it. Right. Not only that, if you catalog your collection with this, it'll tell you an updated total value of your book, your books, all yes. of them. So we were pretty amazed by this. We were. Uh, Walt That's is, amazing. Walt, it, it Walt is especially. truly amazing. And Walt was. Uh, he was stunned. He was. Um, so this app is called uh, Curicon. C-U-R-I-S-C-O-N. Um, what, it's not out yet, though, right? It's in beta testing no, right now? No, it is in. Uh, said, uh, yes. It's at end of the testing. month it would be out? Yeah. And said it would be free, right? He said it's a free app. Yes. Yeah. So we were pretty amazed. Uh, Matt was a fellow that we met yesterday. Yes, very cool. From Australia. Um, yeah, Walt was like, you do this, why aren't you working for NASA? Yeah. Or something. And the dude was like, not as fun. I yeah, like comics. Right. He's like, not well, as fun why as comic books. Why aren't you a, um, a member of the NSA? He's like, I'm Australian. We don't have the NSA. Right. Right. The CIA, we don't, you know, don't kind of have that. So, all right. But so, I, I wish him well. It's uh, Curicon. Curicon. We were trying to work him on the with, on the name. Yeah, we were. I don't think Walt was a fan. Of no, the Walt. Name. Walt thought that the name wasn't as sexy as it should be. Right. And I'm kind of in agreement. It should be a little bit more, like in your face. Okay. But Curicon, check Curicon. it out at the end of the month. Uh, it may be a game changer. Oh, uh, I think it we is. We were I like, think it's be. we were like, man, Mister Mister Overstreets. We were like rolling in his grave. Yeah, and. Uh, Jack Overstreet is not happy. Jack not, Overstreet not and uh, Ronald eBay is yeah, going to be uh, shitting his pants yes. when this comes out. Yeah. So, um, Curicon, look for it. Yes, very cool. Uh, Mike, are you a fan of Legos? Who isn't? Oh, so, uh, me too, Mike. <laughs> wow. Well, I saw today uh, there's a Wall Street Journal article uh, about a new property that Lego is delving into. Okay. Uh, something that they're going to be presenting at Toy Fair later on this month. Okay. Oh, you want to go to Toy Fair? Uh, I do. I believe we may be invited because uh, nice. we have our um, our mini mates are coming out. No kidding. Uh, we I... may be presenting them. At Toy no Fair. I kidding. Hear if they can pull the appropriate Ooh, strings. Oh, nice. Just don't get excited. It's not right. set in stone, but it, we may be getting invited to Toy Fair. All That's right. what I'm saying. Nice. But... Uh, Lego in um, in many many pro- uh, licenses now. Um, the Hobbit, um, Marvel, uh, The Simpsons. Uh, now they're delving into uh, another Marvel uh, Shield. Wow! So today uh, we got a first look at the Lego Shield Helicarrier set. No which way! Which I'm showing you right now. Oh my God! Pretty pretty freaking cool. That is that looks like the uh, USS Flag. It does actually. It does a little bit with, uh, you know, with that looks shield like stuff on cinematic it. shield. Yes, helicarry. Very nice. It is. It is pretty damn cool. Now we're we are looking at over uh, almost three thousand pieces. Two thousand wow. nine hundred ninety six. Holy crap! Why didn't they just add four more little lights on there and make it three thousand? I don't know. Uh, it is gonna come. Uh, it's gonna. Feature two runways, micro scale Quinjets, fighter jets, and ground support vehicles. Oh my god! Uh, it will include five minifigures: Nick Fury, Black Widow, Cap, Hawkeye, and Maria Hill. Really? Yes. So you get your own little teeny tiny um, uh, Kobe Smulders. Nice. Yes. Uh, it's also going to feature Iron Man and eight 
random shield agents. All right, okay. Well, that's all but right. But here's a here's a picture of the five. Look at that. That looks cool. awesome. That sh- look at that right there. I I I I think it's cool that uh freaking Hawkeye and Black Widow get a little respect here. That's nice too. and motherfucking snakes. Yes. On a motherfucking shield yeah, helicarrier. Yeah, freaking Samuel Jackson on a Lego. And I see right here that they're doing something else. Yes. Wow. Maria That's, Hill. Little she looks Maria awesome. Hill. Little Maria Hill action for you here. And uh, this is the uh, this is the control room. Look at that. Oh, that looks it's pretty cool. Pretty freaking amazing. Hey, look, that guy's playing Galaga. I know. Yes, he is. He's playing. Hey, you're supposed to be uh, protecting people. This is awesome. Um, not cheap. It's gonna retail for three hundred forty nine ninety nine. All right. Uh, so it was more of a toy for adults. Okay. But, I mean... And they're also doing something else, Ming. I want to get this in uh, before we have we're, to go. We're, we're, we're the Doctor Who Lego set. Doctor Who. Now, uh, this, uh, I guess some uh, Lego, I think annually or every couple of months, they launch a contest where you make your own Lego from some mm-hmm. property. And if you get enough votes, then they'll acquire the licensing and develop it. Wow, uh, happened, that's that's pretty damn nice. Happened though. with uh, the uh, the time machine, the DeLorean, okay. Back to the Future. What about now, the Simpsons too? Uh, yes, I believe the Simpsons okay. included in there. Now we're gonna Doctor Who Legos, which is pretty cool. They do look awesome. Yes. Now, which Time Lords are gonna feature? I don't know, but you think they put just just put just put all twelve of them in there? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. You and all, all the companions. Uh, I think they should have just figures. little Adaset. That's all. Yeah. Adaset, because the uh, the TARDIS looks. Uh, it's bigger on the inside than it is on the out. Right. All right. One thing that I do want to okay. say. All right. Also, before we go. Before we leave. Yes, uh, right. There's a Kickstarter. Okay. Uh, from our our friend Judge's Comics. Okay. Um, He's got seven days. He what is he trying to, to do with this Kickstarter? He wants to uh, fund his comic, Judge's Number One, which actually looks pretty cool. It's a supernatural adventure comic done. Created by Ben Miller. The art is done by Marvel and DC artist Corey Hampshire. Okay. A story of a group of exceptional individuals that come to find out that demons are real and that, in many cases, the most evil among us are actually (laughs) demons in disguise. So Hitler would have been a demon? All right. Demons in disguise. Okay, cool. Uh, There you go. Um, Check it out. Go to kickstarter.com and check out Judges by Ben Miller. Okay. Why not? Uh, before we go, uh, okay. also big news coming out of the Star Wars universe today. Yes. Which says, um, and Lucasfilm approved, and um, you know this is this is official now. Stormtroopers are not clones, Mike. The current stormtroopers are not clones. Now, okay. Episode two, clones. Right now, uh, what they're saying is those clones died out a long time ago. Now you know, I'm trying stormtroopers to later on. Or Do you think Grand Moff Tarkin was a former clone? I don't know. Trooper? Yeah. Um, no, he, like he's an old Jango Fett, or old Boba know. Fett. No, no, no. No, I don't, he doesn't. Look no, like he doesn't a, look like. No, no. It, I mean, I just watched uh, A New Hope yes. last Saturday. Right, Peter, uh, Peter Cushing. Correct? Peter Cushing. Yeah, <laughs> I swear to God, the, he looks like one of those shrunken heads from the he does. Uh, Vincent Price With that set. weird like haircut. Yes. And that's <laughs> evacuate in a t- in a moment of triumph. Yes. I think you overestimate that chances. Yes, that's so, good, Mike. Thank you. That's but uh, <laughs> we're just, you getting watching it's awesome. <clears throat> but we were just picking apart like the uh, the plot um, threads that were discarded and completely screwed over. Yes. By the um, you know later works of Mister Lucas. Yes. So there's a novel out now. I, I think uh, it's called Star Wars: A New Dawn. Okay, it's going to be. Canon. This yes, is new canon. This is canon. Okay. This is canon. Uh, I believe this bridges a gap between episode six and seven. I have to look that up again. Okay. But one of the passages, they mentioned a stormtrooper. They they mentioned a female stormtrooper. Okay. Female cool. Mike. All right. Which means they're not all clones. Right. They're people or of some race. Yeah, and they're having you know they're they're getting busy. Yeah. Now uh, I. I always, I never thought of them as clones. Episode past episode four, okay. Like, you know they have discussions and they don't. I, I never thought they really acted like clones. Okay, but you know they fought like clones. They all sucked. Well, I, no, I thought the clones were actually really good. The clones were good, but I mean, uh, from episode four on, when they weren't clones, they were, <laughs> weren't that good. 
You know what I'm saying? They, they, I, I do know what you're saying. Yes. All right. They were well, they were not superior soldiers. We'll put it that way. Okay. And what the hell was that armor for anyways? It did nothing. No, it didn't. It, it's fine. And it was glass. bulky and uncomfortable. Made you look, co- it made you uh, look the cool. The range of like motion. A, uh, There's no articulation. Corvette. No. It did, but they, it didn't do anything. And you would also smack your head on uh, one of the yeah, slow-moving exactly. doors. But, I, I mean, it wasn't blaster-proof. It wasn't no. lightsaber-proof. No. It wasn't anything-proof. No. Yeah. Had a cool look, but that's about it. Made, it was like a uniform. But uh, really was it log-proof, as proved in? No. Or stone-proof? No. And as evidence in Return of the Jedi. So, seriously. Made nice drums. Nice drum set. Yes, they did. That's about it. They did. So acoustically speaking was nice. But right. So what? So anyways, now uh, they aren't there aren't clones. Uh, if you're stars or this may or may not be big news. I'm not really sure. I think it's a game changer. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm I, I don't know. 315 days, Mike. I know. 315 days. You were there. We're there. And uh, you know what? Let's uh, tomorrow morning. I want to. I want to. Smart Coast Morning Show. The Smart Coast Morning Show. What do you want to talk show. about? A little want, teaser here. Actually, a little teaser. I want to okay. talk at ad, ad nauseum okay, about, uh, about uh, Star Wars. And okay. We'll just talk Star, Star Wars. Wars. Oh, let's talk Star Wars. Cool. All right, join me, Mike, and, and Mark Costello. Very special as, guest. As we talk Star Wars tomorrow a on good the Smart time Coast fellow. Morning Show. Yes, be there. Every Friday at noon, there's our little commercial for ourselves. Nice. Pretty awesome. And we've got the Lost episode. Uh, it's going to go up sometime soon. You have a Lost episode? Well, the episode that we... Um, did you record last week? We did. Did you really? It's on your... Uh, Is it? Yeah, it's on oh, your Oh, nice. Recorder. Okay, cool. So we've got a Lost episode. All right, sweet. Yeah, it's pretty Fantastic. cool, too. It talks about Fantastic. my hatred of uh, Kirk Cameron again. Oh, awesome. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. All right. Well, thank you for listening, everybody. We will talk to you next week. There you go. Satisfaction is I cement my place in history. It's just another sale to this comic-selling alpha male. I could sell comics to a writer. I want to look it through and through. And you'll buy every single thing I tell you to. It's not because I'm making cars.